Ugh. Man. Five o'clock comes early in the morning, especially when you're up late. Uh, my roommate got in at like 10 o'clock last night. Uh, so I couldn't really get to sleep till like till almost midnight. Uh, that woke up this morning super early and he wasn't here no more, so I don't know what happened with that. Uh, that's about it for now. I'll keep y'all posted. Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, it's Billy coming at you again. Uh, just finished up day one at CR England. Uh, went pretty good. Wasn't as bad as I thought it was. Got early start this morning. We got on the buses at 6 o'clock. Uh, got there. Uh, roll call was at 6.45. Uh, met the instructor, Mike and Lisa. Pretty good, pretty cool, pretty funny. Really, really smart and informative. A uh, lot of paperwork, but not as much as you'd probably think. You'd probably think you're going to fill out paperwork all day. It's not really like that. It was... So we got there. Then we... Uh, talk to the basically they gave us the whole spiel uh, the academic instructor or the school guy in charge of the school came to talk to us and then I guess like the HR lady the career lady came in and uh, basically told us we had to continue working on our applications basically you're gonna get on there and they're gonna tell you all about this uh, loan and how much they're signing you up for and uh, you know, the interest rates and if you have to pay it off, how much it is and this, that, and the other, you know, for $6,000 of school and like an 18% interest rate, it's going to end up costing you uh, like $10,000 over 12 months to pay off. Uh, I think if you stay with the school for a while, though, you don't end up having to pay that. Uh, the school is all ran by CR England. It's, it's Premier Trucking School in Cedar Hill. But it's all ran by CR England. Uh, then, after that, uh, medical came and talked to us. Mike gave us our homework assignments. Got to get to work on that permanent test. And homework's just writing stuff down a whole bunch of time, trying to memorize it. Uh, then, uh, another thing we had to do today was we had to take our first test. Day one, taking your first test. The federal motor federal motor carrier safety regulations test it's like a requirement for DPS that you gotta take it uh, it wasn't too bad they give you a book it's a pretty big book all the answers are in here and on each question it tells you what uh, section of the book it's in so it's not hard it is time consuming it will take you most of the day between that medical and your application you might have a little bit of time to get started on your homework assignment, but not much. Um, medical, uh, we went outside and we took our PAT test. Basically, we had to duck walk underneath the trailer, there and back, wasn't hard. Can't touch the ground, can't touch the truck with your hands. Uh, then we all lined up, uh, put one foot in front of the other and closed your eyes for 15 seconds. Easy as it sounds, uh, just don't wobble or they'll make a note of it, I don't know what that means. Uh, then you got to get down on your knees and stand back up without touching the ground with your hands. <clears throat> uh, then you, uh, you're picking up a 35 pound weight. Like you're basically squatting down, picking it up to your chest, uh, standing up and pushing it above your head three times. Then after that, you have to climb into the back of the truck and climb back out. Got to make sure you don't jump out or they'll, they'll say you didn't do it right. Then you go inside and you have to uh, do your analysis. You got to pee in a cup. Then they're going to take you, a nurse is going to take you back. She's going to check all your vitals. She's going to check your eyes, check your ears, make sure your hearing and vision's good. Uh, I'll ask you about any of the stuff you put on your paperwork, like if you had a drinking problem or you take meds or whatever. Then she's going to kick you back out. And you're going to wait on the doctor to call you. This took this took hours. All this just standing around waiting. It wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be, but it is what it is. If you ain't used to 
sitting around not doing nothing all day. There's no cell phone service out there. So don't think you're going to be on the YouTubes all day or nothing like that. Don't think you're going to be uh, Facebooking it up. Cell signal is not out there. Uh, there was a food truck for lunch. A little pricey for what you're getting. But there's not a lot of competition out there because that is the only place you can eat. Unless you bring your lunch. You can bring your lunch. But, uh, I don't know. Um, so that's medical. Took the test. You got to turn that in. So those are the three things. you. Well, you don't have to get medical done. Some people didn't get medical done. Two things you got to do. You got to look over that contract and sign it. Basically saying that you're going to pay back that loan once you get your CDL. And you got to take your Federal Motor Carrier Safety Regulations test. You got to take that. Uh, like I said, there's a bunch of stuff, just not a bunch of stuff, just big stuff all day. Big stuff. Big truck driver stuff. So, uh, anyway, we got down at four. They threatened to keep us till five. They only kept us till four. So that wasn't bad. It's seven to four, pretty much. Not bad at all. Pretty much the best working hours I've ever had. And they talked like today was the worst day you're ever going to have. So they said tomorrow's going to be bad, but it's not going to be as bad as today. Today's the worst day. It's not going to be bad. Uh, yeah, so pretty good. I enjoyed it. Uh, hope it all works out. Like I said, man, you guys got any questions or anything, feel free to comment on it. Uh, I'll get back to them as I can. I don't got a lot of subscribers. Or I don't think I got any. So, uh, I mean... I don't know if anybody's ever going to watch these. Uh, if you come around, man, hit the subscribe button. I'm going to talk about CR England, how great it is. All right, man, y'all have, have a good night. I'll talk to y'all later.